Okay, it's time for a quest for semi-rando. We're doing an LTTT rando tonight. Like last time, a couple days ago, when we did that festive, uh, normal open seed, we're gonna do another normal open seed tonight. And I think from here on out, we're probably gonna be going almost exclusively open seeds, I think, just because it makes the, the beginning of the game a little bit more interesting as far as dealing with kind of a standard seed where you're guaranteed to get a sword and the first six minutes are usually the same type of thing. But uh, let's see what we can do with this in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Hey, Jihad Jones, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh my goodness, we start with a bow. How ridiculous is that? So we're also not doing a festive again this time because, you know, it was a fun novelty. It was a fun novelty at the time to have all the ice physics on the overworld, but that got real tiresome real quick, so we're not going to do that again. Let's see what the tree pole has for us up here. Whoop! Well, uh, just some cash. Just a little bit of cash. What emulator am I using? I'm using BSNES. Or BSNES, or whatever. Ouch. Eh. All right, so a, a fucking early ass bow, some busy bams. All right, we can deal with some bams. Oh, nice, good fucking whiff there. And a magic cape. Uh oh, uh oh. That is, uh, that's kind of pushing us towards uh, Ega One. That magic cape there. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Do not like that at all. Oops, I... Oh, crap. That... <laughs> Nightbot's probably going to be a little irritating tonight. I forgot to turn uh, turn it off following the marathon. Shit, I knew I forgot something. Alright, sorry about that, but we'll just have to deal... What am I doing? I shouldn't even be doing this. I should be S and Qing out to Sanctuary. <clears throat> so we can hit the item that's there, at the very least. Bomb cap, and then we'll, I think we'll go up to Lost Woods and then hit Kakariko and kind of follow the standard route from here on out. Sanctuary, we got our house. We just need, we just need some arrows at this point. So we can, uh, <clears throat> so we can actually have some offensive capabilities here. Ouch. Birds? Not again? <laughs> no, stop. Uh, this is going to be blue roops. That's fine, I guess. We will need five hundo for... Um, or not five hundo. Well, I guess we will need five hundo at some point. We'll need one hundo for uh, Bottle Vendor and Kakariko. Uh, but let's see what's on the thing there. Just a bomb cap, which we really don't care about. So we're gonna hope that Ega One isn't required, but having a really early magic cape kind of says otherwise. Really unfortunate. Birds! Oh, God, it's bird! Oh, it's birds on point. At least we're not gonna take a real dumb death right away, like we did on the festive seed. Ooh, wow, a solid three hundo a mushroom spot. Okay. Jumpstart our cash a little bit. Checking forest hideout soon. A sword. Wow, early sword too. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. <clears throat> well, that'll make things a little bit easier now. And it's pretty much <laughs> normal. Normal standard from here on out. Oh, hey, oh, oh, come here. Just in case. Which, you know what? I'm okay with. I'm okay with. Means we just need to do escape at some point. How about some... How about some arrows? Arrows would be real nice. Although we don't really need to rely on arrows as much anymore now that we have a sword, but that's okay. <clears throat> We are liable to get some pretty good gear here in Kakariko since we've got the bombs to kind of get it. The flippers, interesting. Piece of candy. Big 20. And another piece of candy. Hmm. 
flippers. Flippers, flippers, flippers. Another big bomb cap upgrade. Check Chicken Hut. <clears throat> that should be pretty much it for Kakariko since we don't have don't have early flute, unfortunately. Unless we get it here. Hint, 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 hint. Another bomb cap. Oof, very explosive. Oh, there's the single arrow. The run is valid. Another heart container and a shield. All right. Very interesting. So, well, we got ourselves a shield. Let's see what bottle vendor is selling. Ten arrows, okay. We got some arrows. Gave us exactly what we were asking for, I suppose. Which means Eastern is a definite play at this point, since we can complete it. Depending on if it's necessary, I suppose. More arrows. So no sick kid check. Just yet. In fact, we're gonna go get some more bombs. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to mark Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Hopfen. How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Boris. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, big fitty. In the back of the tavern. Thus ends our uh, progress through Kakariko. At this juncture, we'll check the library, then check race game, and then probably S and Q out and head south. Head south to the dam, mini Wormulon cave, ice ice rod cave. Oh, just a big twenty in the library. Nothing of extreme value. What do we got? Race game has just a piece of candy. Alright, so library and race game are bullshit. Uh, let's go south to the dam. How am I feeling after the marathon? I'm still a bit tired. But that is to be expected, I believe. And please ignore Nightbot, I forgot to reset it after the marathon. <laughs> So obviously we're not still doing the marathon, that'd be silly. That would be silly. Um, but that's Nightbot's gonna chime in rather frequently. Unfortunate though it is. Oops, nice. Way not, way not to fucking push that block, idiot. Oh, early lamp. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Well, that makes escape a viable option. And also makes Egg a 1 a viable option, which is not the greatest. But whatever, we're gonna deal. We've got so many other things to deal with right now, we're not even gonna bother with Egg a 1. It's an arrow cap at the dam. Should we do fish rescue? Let's do fish rescue. Oops! Oh, oh, almost dropped the fish. Almost dropped the fish. Excuse me, pardon me. Gotta rescue this fish. We're gonna rescue the fish. Eh. Oh, yeah, yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, we got some some arrows out of it. Go us. Mini Wormulon's not putting up put, blah, 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 putting up much of a fight tonight. Well, stand corrected a little bit. Dropping lots of cash, though. All right. Light World Hype Cave. The Power Glow. Very hype. More arrows. Big 20. More busy bams. And a piece of candy. All right. So kind of hype with that Power Glove. Makes Death Mountain a bit of a play now. Not much of one, since we can't get to East Side. But... Definitely a thing we can do. Guess it would technically be faster to swim up here, huh? 
Oh, well. <laughs> That's right. Forgot about the waterfall that was there. That might have been a little bit of a shortcut. Whoa, careful. We're not even going to deal with all them. All them crabs. Alright, so the, having the lamp definitely makes Eastern a play. Uh, big 20 there. Which we might hit before we go up and do Zora, because I would love to have 5 hundo ready for the ripoff fish himself. Ugh, hung up on everything. Swimming is just so awkward sometimes. Lake Hylia Island has a big 20. Let's see what our friend the uh, hobo has for us today. Mark off a bunch of these. Ice Rod Cave, that, that, dam, and hobo very soon. What you got for us, my friend? A ah, piece of candy. Nothing of extreme value, but it does give us another heart container, so that's fine. That's fine and or dandy. Um, let's go do escape. So there are three items plus, I think, two or three on the way as well. Three in the back half, plus... Maybe just the one, huh? Well, plus the dungeon. Oh, I didn't do the dungeon yet. I don't know why I marked it off. Still managed it. All right, some busy bams there. I think it might be faster to S and Q out and then reapproach Hyrule Castle, right? Instead of trying to walk all the way back from the dungeon. Unless we get like the mirror or something, that would be that would be a thing. Oh, we'll take that. And I get bams early on. I did get some early bams. Uh, when, when did we get bams? I think we got bams uh, from Uncle. It's our first kind of pack. Oops, I fucked that one up. Aw, oh, the burrito. Which means the other three chests in the back half of Escape here will have something useful. <clears throat> can I use arrows on the uh, all chain guard? Is that a thing that can happen? We're gonna see. Yep. Nice. Four arrows. All right. I not do escape first. Uh, this is open mode, where you are not forced into doing escape first, but it also means you are not guaranteed a sword right away. But luckily enough, we found a really early sword uh, over in the Thieves' Den in the Lost Woods. So it kind of turned into a uh, standard mode seed just without escape super early on. I suppose we actually could do... Well, I do. We do need to do the dark side of escape here anyways. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. Boom. <laughs> That center shot on that ladder. That ladder is toast. Mm, I don't know if that was quicker than just walking back from the dungeon. Whoop! Rats, please. 
Thanks. Oh, there's some more busy bams. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, that's silly. We can't move on. I guess that is the dark chest, the dark room chest, right? So I guess we'll have to do the other way from the back side of Sanctuary here by going through this, the graveyard. Huh, interesting. Is that always the case where they don't give you a key to go through there in open mode? Because I'm not really that familiar with it. But that's fine, that's fine. That takes care of those two. Now we're gonna do the three here. Oops, totally fucking whiffed that. Huh, that's interesting. So I probably should have approached it from the backside then instead of going through the front. Oh well. Ice rod. Smallish key and a hundo. Okay, well, that hundo's fine. That hundo's nice and good. Ice rod. Alright, let us head on over then to Eastern. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Crystal, crystal, and green pendants. Boo doo doo doo. Boo doo doo doo. Excuse me, fella. Do 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 do. <laughs> Out of my way, shit lords. Ah. <laughs> All right, so three from Sahash, three from Eastern. Hopefully some of which is at least a few roops. We can go up to Zora. And... Big 20. Piece of candy. And bomb cap. Alright, so kind of worthless. But having a few roops isn't... That terrible. Ooh, nice. All right, we're already up to almost up to five hundo. Unfortunately, this is going to be kind of a slow eastern since we don't have hookshot to get ourselves around, but we can full clear it straight away. Ah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> That's happened more than once. But who knows? Maybe we'll get hookshot in eastern. Wouldn't that just be a thing? Like, say, hookshot in this chest here. Uh... Oh, blue mail though, hey. All right. <laughs> putting good, putting it to good use right away. All right, so that's one there plus blue mail. Expecting to get at least two rupees before we leave here. Be kind of silly if we didn't. Ah. Install the nest. Nice. How do you like it? I'm thinking of getting one of those myself. All right, there's one, and I fucked up. The... <laughs> I fucked it up again. Go figure. Oh, I could have tried to use the bow. Oh well. Ten arrow cat, okay. 
No big key, though, so we're gonna have to cycle back around, I guess, anyways. Oops, that's the wrong one to click. Boop. And since early lamp, no dark rooms to have to deal with, which is nice it's in its own right, even though these are ones I can handle pretty easily. boosting than I was comfortable with doing, but whatever. <laughs> First world problems, that's right. Hey, having voice control stuff is pretty neat. Or remote control, I suppose, would be more accurate. Park container, alright, so nothing terribly useful in Eastern. But we're knocking it out quick and easy. Careful. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Undercut myself there. I mean, I installed some uh, of the Philips Hue light strips and shit. And they're pretty nice. I do say, I, I do enjoy them quite a bit. Got some here in the office down here, and then a couple up in the kitchen. <laughs> there we go, there's our... There's our five hundo. Ah, fuck that one up a little bit. Alright, I don't think I know the quick kill with Armos, with just plain ol' arrows. involves kind of staggering these a little bit so you're not... No, that didn't work. Whatever. It's fine. All I got is a burrito. And then we get crystal number uno. Boom. Alright, now we're free to go up to Zora. I think we will S and Q out to maybe Sanctuary is probably quicker at this point. Let's go straight on east. Rather than trying to wend our way out of that eastern palace area. Maybe it would have been faster to S&Q to house and then take the whirlpool. I don't know. I'm not quite as confident in my open mode routing as I am with my standard. Especially with early flippers. But we're kind of limited as to where we can go. Considering we can't yet get into Dark World. Well, I suppose we can if we go fight Aga 1. But even so, the only thing we could get at that point is Pyramid. <laughs> oh, shit. Get in that waterfall. Rah. I played Breath of the Wild. Uh, only very briefly for like 10 minutes. Big 20. Another big 20. Wow. Somebody's leaving their loose change at the Waterfall of Wishing here. I don't know, I guess I can see Breath of the Wild being pretty good, but I haven't really spent enough time with it to really say yay or nay whether it's really super cool or not. Alright, so Bisbee Bam's at the Waterfall Ledge, or the Zora's Domain Ledge, rather. 
but we'll see what King Ripoff has got for us today. Perhaps something useful, like a flute. Or a hook shot. What do we got? For 500 rupees, survey says 10 arrows. What a shit. Alright, so that sucks. Um, do we go up the mountain or do we go to Agony's Cave? I think we go up the mountain. That way we can hit Old Man and at least get a bead on what's on top of Spectacle Rock. Get whatever's inside if we need to. Oh, <laughs> total whiff. He's like, what was that? What a shit. Yeah. Maybe the old man will have something of value for us. Only three overworld spots that we can get before we have to go do Aga 1. So my presumption would be that there's something of value here. At least I'm hoping so. Whoa, there's Moon Pearl. Okay. Uh, that's kind of shitty. <laughs> that's kind of shitty. That's pushing me towards Aga 1. I don't like that. Ow. Cabbages, please. Ugh. Crap. All right, well. Glad I came up here first, though. Top of Spectacle Rock is nothing but a piece of candy. And inside is nothing but a bomb cap. Okay, well, that kind of sizzity sucks. Just for completeness sake. Let's go check Agonis Cave first. Because I really don't want to do Aga 1 if we can at all avoid it. But item set thus far is pushing us towards it. Especially with just the fighter sword, that's really shitty. But, you know, you do what you gotta do. And if that involves fighter sword Ego 1, that involves fighter sword Ego 1. Also check Desert Ledge while we're here. Just a quick jog across the desert. Ow. <laughs> On ledge, it's nothing but a fiver. Ow. Shit. <laughs> yeah. So now would be a real prime time for a for a hook shot or a hammer. Hammer probably more than hook shot since that'll get us Stark World access besides Ega 1. So I know what you got. Just a big 20. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright. Crappity shit crap damn. Alright. That's alright. It's okay, man. I guess we're going to do Ega 1. Uh, open does not require Master Sword. Uh, correct. No seed really requires Master Sword for Aga 1. You only require a means to get in to Aga's Tower, which you can do without Master Sword by having the Magic Cape, which we happen to have. So, we're gonna go do that. <sighs> of course, I knew the seed would be too shitty to prevent us from doing Aga 1. Oh well. Oh well, he can't win them all. Can't win them all. This does kind of give us the benefit of being pretty limited in our Dark World movement at the start. Because we'll only be able to go hit Catfish. Can we use arrows on these guys? I sure can. One more. There we go. That's faster than Spin Slashes, I think. 
Doodle-doodle-ding. It's a small ass key. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess catfish and then the opening a pod. Right? Although we do have flippers, so we could actually get to the east. Damn it. Could get to the east side. Just by swimming across, I suppose. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! <laughs> we tried our darndest not to have to do Ega One here, but you got to do what you got to do. fight this fucker not just once this seed but twice but that's how we do sometimes <laughs> damn it all right first one's always a normal shot right well, there's one See how many blue balls we get from them. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> one and one. Okay, great. Good start, Ega One. Two. Awesome. Great. Fucking the best. All right, two and two. This means this is gonna require three cycle. Three. <laughs> three and three. Gosh dang it. Why did they put the blue balls back into Rando? It's so dumb. Oh my goodness. Four blue balls. Alright. Four and four. There's five. Fucking slowest ass three cycle. There's six. Eat shit. <sighs> okay. Bye, Ego One. So, Pyramid, Catfish, and Beginning a Pod is all we can go to. Fortunately. Well, I mean, we can scour Pod for all the items, I suppose, since we only need Hammer for. Oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. There's Hammer. Excellent. Hammer on Pyramid. Now that opens up a whole host of other places. And while we're up in the area, let's just go pay Catfish a visit. And we'll probably swing around for... Uh, oh wait, no, we can't swing around. We would need Hookshot to get across. Damn it, that's right. So we're probably gonna have to S&Q out, head on over to Kakariko and take the warp there. Unless, oops, unless we may as well just do pod right away since it's crystal. 
We've got normal crystal red at Swampy Swamp. Five Sixer at Blue at Thieves Town. Ice is the other five Sixer. Myers, normal crystal, and Turtle Rock. All right. Well, not terrible. Kind of sucks that Swamp is a pendant, though. Considering the six items there. As much as I would love to do pod with just Fighter Sword, we will say no thanks to that. S and Q out and go over to Kakariko again. Mushroom. Oh my goodness, that's interesting. Fetch questiest ass bullshit there ever was. Oops. Okay. So we can't do well. We can't finish Skull Woods just yet. No fire rod. Get out of my way, shits. Get into Thieves Town. We can hit Digging Game. Old Stumpy. Oopsie. Bumper Cave. And Hype Cave, I guess. We make our way down to the south. Excuse me, fellas. Oops. Ah, crap. I suppose, in theory, we could also uh, do Blacksmith Frog. Oh, no, we can't, because we don't have Titan's Myth. But I'd really prefer to get Mirror before we do that, so we don't have to SMQ out and do it. But we'll see. The Seed has already forced us to do Aga 1, so I'm not really putting anything past it at this point. I suppose our other option was to start at Hype Cave. And kind of make our way around, but oh well. It's a route for another night, I guess. Just so while we're up here, let's check Bumper Cave. That has had some good shit in the past. I do not want to overlook it. the book. Interesting. Alright. Well, you know, better to have that now and to have something hidden behind a tablet that did not get it until the very end. Not you, fucker. Ah, damn it. A little bit too far. What the? Ah, oh, crap. So you can't use the sword buffer for that, huh? Just gotta go. Gotta be fearless. There we go. And since we have a hammer, full clear Thieves Town if we need to. Oh, Thieves Town is a pendant too. Dang it. Why are all the easy dungeons pendants? Fuck off, you little <laughs> stupid bird. All right, so we got book, bumper cave. I guess let's dip into Thieves Town. Easy stash of items right away, plus we can kill blind. Actually, no, let's get Sea House first. Ow. Stop. God, even with blue mail, those guys hurt. Big 20. 
Really looking forward to another sword here. Sword, fire rod, better shield I wouldn't even complain about. Hookshot would be real nice. Samaria. I guess it's real nice to have early ice rods since that can be just about literally anywhere. It's a piece of candy and chest game. So we're not hunting for that, at the very least. There's our hook shot. Fucking brilliant. Now we can hit light side Eastern Death Mountain. Alright, let's dip into Thieves Town and see what we can see here. Oh, big 20, nice. Oh, big three hundo. Okay, that's something, I guess. <laughs> it's two out of four. We could get all four items really super early and not even have to fight blind. That'd be real nice. such luck this time, I guess. There's the big key, as expected. situation having to deal with hell hallway here but just have to do our best Whoop. <laughs> all right that was pretty decent oh crap can we not that was silly ouch Don't kill me before I get all the way through this section, please. Oh! Oh, jeez. Fucking old skittery bug chameleon thing almost grabbed me. Oh! Ah, the compass. Bombs? Damn, damn it. Ugh. Oh, this isn't looking good. Take it a little bit careful. No powder. No potions, no fairies. It's not a good time to make when I'm low on the healthy health. Ah, crap. Of course he dropped a heart. What a shit. I guess I do have magic cape, so we could do really cowardly blind strats if we need to. Hoping at least one of these has a heart in it, though. Alright, good. Ah, oh, the mirror. Alright, well, I'm glad I came into Thieves Town here. 
You gonna drop another heart for me, huh? No? Now, can we get the luck and hope that the last item is in big chest? The nets. Excellent. All right, so we don't have to even go fight blind. And that is more of a safety item than anything else, but... Mirror is fucking great. Now we can hit a few things we swing to the south. Digging game, and cave south of Grove, Old Stumpy, Hype Cave. Many things have now opened up for us. Hmm, that's a very, very back heavy digging game, huh? Come on. Ah, nothing but a big 20 for my troubles. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, well, I guess then that won't do us any good until we get a bottle. That's silly. Here, a oh, piece of candy. You know what? I'm gonna take it since I'm kinda low on the old health. Excellent. Good refill, good extra heart. There's Cave South Grove. Let's see what old Stumpy's got for us. If it's the shovel, that'd actually be okay. Eh? Ah, just some busy bams. I think onward to Hype Cave. We'll swing back to the north, maybe hit Pod? Or maybe go hit uh, Cave North of Cemetery. And then swing down for Pod. And unfortunately, this also opens up uh, Swamp Palace. I think both the mirror and the flips. But, we'll see what we can get from good old Hype Cave. A flute! Nice! Alright. A little fast travel going on. Quake. Piece of candy. Samaria. Excellent. Alright, Hype Cave doing pretty hype there. I like that. Got Quake, and... oopsie. And Flutey Flutes. That opens up a bit for us. Just a little teeny tiny bit. So, now we are going to go, I think, uh, well, let's go back to Kakariko, get our flute activated, and then we can just swing around everywhere that we need. Including depositing the shroom up at the witch. And probably hitting light side eastern death mountain oh that's right we can't get through there that's why i need the mirror out <laughs> yeah. oh man dude's really fast he's really trying to get me Go back to Dark World immediately, hit Cave North of Cemetery, and then go over to Mushroom? Or do we kind of do it the opposite way? I probably shouldn't focus as much on single overworld spots, just because I think 
logic is more tuned to uh, dungeons than it is anything else. So unfortunately, Swamp would probably be a good play, or a reasonable play. The play of probabilities. But I think we're going to stick with our original plan. Do Cave North the Cemetery, swing around, do Mushroom, and then head up the mountain. And also take care of Hera while we're up there. Unfortunately, we do not have a sword, so we can't get... Or not a better sword, rather, so we can't get Ether Tablet while we're up there. So we're kind of playing against the odds here by going for some of these single single items on the overworld, but it might very well pay off. Which is always the eternal hope. Oh yeah, let's go all the way the fuck around here. This is a bit of a long haul to check one item, but... After we're done here, we'll just flute on out. Go deposit the mushroom, and then up the mountain we go. Eh, oh, heart container, okay. That's reasonable. Maybe not worth the extended trip, but certainly won't turn up my nose at it. What do we got with mushroom here, huh? Ah, this is an arrow cap. Dang. Well, alright. That play was kind of a bust. But, that's alright. Better to have cleared it than to leave it there when it was something important. <laughs> Squirrels gotta get their one hit in there, don't they? Shits. Alright, so now we're looking at, what, seven? Seven items plus a Hera clear? Be on our way here. Oh my goodness. Squirrels, please. Forgot to mark the red cane that we got from uh, Hype Cave. <laughs> oh, I think the boots. Oh, excellent. Uh, we won't be super slow in doing a uh, spiral cave, and I believe that was Saint Cart there. Shovel. Three hundo and a fifty. Okay. Well, that was certainly a mix of things. There, I think that's good enough. Should be good enough for the bomb. Jump. Nope. A little bit shy. It's one pixel to the right. All right. Well, whatever. It's fine. Oh, that's right. We gotta go. Either up and try the bomb jump again, or just go around. Let's just go around. Failed it once. Dang, you're feeling much better with that one. That's right, we got, we got the boots now. We should be running around. Running around everywhere. Alright, let's 
uh, while we're up here, let's check islands. Only 20 roots. Uh, let's do, sp uh, probably should have done Spiral Cave on the way back. Oops. Oh well. Quick check. That fucking really bops me out of it. What a shit. Spiral Cave holds for us a piece of candy. Let's go do Hera. I guess we'll check Ether Tablet since we've got the book. We'll make our way back down, maybe... I guess we could check uh, King's Tomb, right? We just have to mirror into it, since we don't have Titan's Mitts yet. Ah, oh, fuck you, squirrel. Cash. All right, so we're not coming back up here for that. Era, two items and a crystal. Ah, oh, one of which is a sword. Fucking great. All right. That's what I like to see. One item and a sword. Small key, dang it. So we're headed down to the basement. Ah. It's either a big key or a small key. We got the ladder. should at least give us crystal two before an hour in. Which, on average, for my normal uh, standard seeds, probably isn't that great, but we'll set a, be setting a baseline for our open seeds. Ah, oh, crap. Fuck that up. Quite getting well enough to the inside. Fortunately, we can make one sweep through here. Since we've got both the hookshot and the boots, we can grab the big chest without having to do any sort of fall strats. And hopefully Wormulon will be kind to us tonight. Won't take any falls. Burrito, of course. Wait for it. Pass. All right. Well, Wormulon's got the final item then. <laughs> That's all right. Should be a pretty quick and easy fight, even with just Master Sword. I think it's just three, three spins, and that should do it. Or is it two spins and a slash? Or we could do Hammer Strats as well. Fucking really. Are, what? How the fuck did he push me off with that? I thought the whole sword charge thing was supposed to protect me. Fucking course. Of, of course Wormulon would figure that out. Would find the one place where it could push me off. What a shit. Alright, get the hell away from this platform, please. This shit. Alright, there's one. 
Oh, missed. Uh, that might have been a poke rather than a spin. Dang it. No, fuck you. Come get some, asshole. Alright, shit. That was dumb. No, fuck you! Ah, oh, there's two! What a shit. Should've just gone in for a straight up slash rather than trying to spin the safety strap there. Alright, there's one spin. There's two spins. There's three spins. All right, should have done that the first time. Gosh dang it. See you in hell, Wormulon. This will be second item, which is Busy to Bams. That is Crystal Dose. All right, so what's our most effective play here? I think S and Q out to Sanctuary, get Bonk Rocks. Uh, then we gotta start going to the dungeons. Uh, alright. Bonkrox, maybe we do one more pass through Overworld? I think we'll have to- oh no, Desert is only a green pendant. But, if there's a pendant dungeon we're gonna full clear, it's gonna be Desert. Being both short and having green pendant. Oh wait, bonk rocks, idiot! Come on. Immediately forget what you're gonna do. Ah, oh, shield. All right, no, that's fair. That is a fair item to have. Uh. I guess our best play is probably going to four. We can check, well, and get Bombo's tablet, I suppose, huh? And we can mirror out and hit big spot. And then we can do, well, I guess we can do desert almost right away then. Uh, this is gonna be... Oh, jeez, just barely. Alright, let's hope this this obscure location has something for our, for our time here. Like another sword would be okay? No, nope, ten arrows. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, uh, let's go check Dig Spot, then we'll probably come back for Desert. I probably should have checked first. Think of it. Oh well. Hey, fuckers. The fuck out of my face. Ah, uh, just a three hundo. Wow, we are stacked for rupees. All right, well that's kind of shitty. But let's dip in the desert. Get the two items here real quick. Hopefully, Landmo doesn't have one of them. I guess go over to Swamp, but that's another... Maybe we go into Pod first, since that's an actual crystal dungeon. Oh, 
office. Dang it. <laughs> That's not a good start. Either big key going in the small key or the small key itself. That's fine too. <laughs> Ow, what the shit is? We won't have to double back since Landmo. Well, I guess Landmo couldn't have the big key, right? Fire Rod! Alright! Okay, that's that's a fair pickup. That's a fair pickup. We're probably gonna toast Landmo anyway, since he's got green pendant. The Silvers! Wow! Desert, the Pendant Palace of Value. Goodness me. Alright, let's go toast Landmo real quick like. Get that Pendant, we'll have it for a, a quick turn in after pod here. Alright, so no Silverless Ganon strats, that's good. So I really don't want to have to learn those. <laughs> Just to deal with the seed. Toast, toast, toast. Hmm, plus we can do Skull Woods right away as well. So the only thing we're really limited on now... Well, actually, why can't we do Ice yet? Nope, missed. Oh, well, we got him. Got his buddy behind him. Not quite a... A clean one cycle, but a pretty clean two cycle. For the burrito and the green pendants. So I'm curious why we can't get into... Oh, we don't have the um, Titan. That's right. So that's limiting our movement still a little bit, but it also means that we don't need to do much at least in Ice Palace. And hopefully that means we won't have to dip into Swamp, but we won't know for a little bit anyway, since we'll do Pod right here. Check Sahash with the green pendant, then probably go do Skull Woods. That'll be a quickie dungeon. Five items, normal crystal. We've got all of the gear to make this pretty quick. I wish I had some bottles, though, that actually really make use of it. 
since we've got the bug net as well. But I guess it'll be a really nice quick fill up if we need to get some fairies or something. get at least two small keys up here. There's one. And there's two. Probably. <laughs> through this hole. Right? Don't prove me wrong. Oh, wow. Really? Not another small key, huh? Okay. <clears throat> hey, Sam. How you doing? No, I haven't already completed one. I think we're only going to do one tonight. This open mode seed is probably going to go a lot longer than a typical, normal, standard one for me. Uh, actually, I want to back out first. small key, because why the fuck not? Eh, uh, maybe I should've just... Ah, uh, crap. I think I fucked up the route there. Don't really want to pop that door if we can avoid it. Despite the fact that this is probably wasting more time than just opening that door to begin with. Oh well. Can give us more practice with our shooty shoots. Nice run. Holy shit. It's pretty good. Yeah, of course. Oh. Now, can I get that guy from here? Of course I can. Oh, fucking... Are you serious? You shitbag. Bumps me back out. Duh, oh, what a bastard. Come on. No, stop, come on! God fucking damn these things. Ah. It's happened twice, that means we need to stop this from happening again. F you. Yeah, come here, you little shit. Eat it. Oh, oh dang it. Oh, for God's sake. Alright. Good with our small key count. I don't think we have the big key yet, so we're gonna have to uh, play this correctly. There's the Titan's Mitts. Oh crap, that opens up everything else. Yep. So we're ostensibly in go mode, really, but I don't know what Meyer requires, and I don't know what. Uh, rock requires from a medallion, so we might not be in go mode. Unless we can somehow magically pull down. Both medallions and pod here, which wouldn't be bad, necessarily. Oh, there's candy. Oh, well, that's a good all-timed refill.
Oh, careful. Compass, of course. <clears throat> it's open to have the possibility of not being able to progress. Not as such. Oh, there's Ether. <laughs> what did I say about medallions? There's another one. Excellent. All right, so we're at two-thirds chance of being in go mode now. Um, no, there's not... Well, with the generation parameters I used for this seed, there's not really a chance of being able to progress. There will always be a way through the game without having to know any glitches. There are different ways to generate a seed, however, where you can specify, yes, I can, you can use minor glitches or major glitches or stuff like that to get through the game, at which point, if you played the game normally, it would be impossible to progress, yes. Uh, this should be hopefully not a small key. Damn it. All right, that means... Shit, what chest did I miss? Or did I forget to mark an item? I don't think I... Hmm. I don't think I missed a chest, did I? No. No. I don't think I did. I think I forgot to mark an item. Oh, careful. There we go. I think now Helmosaur will have the the burrito. The difference between open and uh, and standard modes, which I've been usually been playing, fucker, is that you are not forced to do escape the escape sequence first, which is pretty much the same for the first six minutes of the game. You're also not guaranteed to get a sword in the first six minutes of the game either. So you start with a lot more options, at least in the beginning. But at the cost of not having a guaranteed offensive weapon right at the start. And with some different routing. Some different optimal routing, I suppose, but since my routing was never optimal to begin with, not really much of a change for me. Convenient Helmosaur. A very quick Helmosaur. Excellent. So I think that'll be the burrito, at which point I forgot to mark an item at some point. Yep. And that'll be Crystal 3. Boop. Alright, so we'll turn in the green pendant. I guess we'll go right down to Meyer, see if we can open it up. If we can, we can finish it off right away. Go hit ice. Oh, we gotta do Skull Woods yet, too. Forgot about that. We can go do Skull Woods quick. I don't know what the proper part mirroring out here is. I think right there. Oh, good guess. Holy shit. <laughs> Except I'm gonna mirror back. Ah, only arrow cap. I'm gonna mirror back right away, which is not exactly what I want. We can just mirror out one more time. Okay, let's go do Skull Woods. It's really all I'm looking for at this point is probably another sword. And possibly a red mail would be nice. Um, but really the rest is all nice to have. Assuming we've got the medallions required to get into both Mire and Turtle Rock, we are then in go mode already, which is unusual. 
unusual to be in go mode this early for me. Unfortunately, we're going to be full clearing stuff, but... Half magic also wouldn't go in this. Ah, well, there we go. I was just saying, I would really like red mail. There's one of them. Mothula doesn't have uh, the big key. As that would be real shitty to have to double back into here and just open that big chest. Hopefully it's the yeah, my way. Hopefully it's the burrito or something. Still got a chance of not being able or not needing to double back. A slim chance, I will grant, but a chance nonetheless. Ow. Oh crap, that's right. Can't go through on that side. Derp. either has a small key or or the other item to get out of there real quick. <clears throat> so, going into Mothilu with not quite a full magic meter. Without half magic, not the best, but we should be able to take care of this without a problem. Try to, anyways. I don't know if that took effect. Nice, all right. Oh, ah, dang it. Ugh, this damn conveyor belt. Ow, hit, hit the damn thing. Ugh. There we go, all right, it wasn't too terrible. So there's Mothula with the burrito, shit. That means, uh, Big Chest does have that last item. But that's a five sixer. And that's crystal four. I think, right? One, two, three, yep, three left. Hey you mega weapon, how you doing? Um You know what for grins, while we're here, I'm gonna pop out and check MSP. Just in case it turns out that MSP is the final medallion that we're gonna need to get into somewhere. Storage. Okay, good. 
Because you never quite know sometimes. You never quite know. Alright, so let's pop back over to the big chest. You fucked up. What do you mean you fucked up? What's wrong? What happened? What happened? Oh, well there should have been... Nightbot should have told you otherwise, right? I hope. I had it set up. Plus there's stuff in the channel details. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry. Don't worry about it, man. It's okay. It's okay. The VODs are there if you really want to see them. Otherwise, I'll have this shit up on YouTube soon enough, so... Oh, nothing but a single rupee. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. All right, that's fine. Uh, where are we headed next? I guess we'll head to ice. I don't necessarily like going to ice, but it's probably the next in our progression here. Or no, let's not go to ice. Let's go to mire first. Check what we got. Sam, don't, don't tease a mega weapon. Come on, man. We made our goal. We made our goal. Don't listen to him. <laughs> what a shit. Don't listen to him. All right, what do we need for Meyer? Bombos. Damn it, that's the one medallion we don't have. Fuck me. Ah, so we're not quite in go mode yet. Stupid bullshit fuck. Oh, being a bottle, so we got ourselves a bottle. And a piece of candy. Well, there's our first bottle. Now we know Meyer is Bombos, so that sucks. Hopefully we can find Bombos sooner rather than later. Oh man, Mario Party was just a gosh dang shit show. It's not the best game to begin with. And it kind of crashed halfway through, so we couldn't determine a true winner. But I think I was in the lead when, when it crashed, so whatever. <laughs> Alright, I really despise having to go into Swamp if it's a pendant, so we're not going to go into Swamp just yet. Instead, we're going to hit Ice, and then maybe we'll go do Dark Side Death Mountain. We're going to play the odds on these remaining items. against hope that we don't need to dive into much of the rest of the fetch questy garbage, but we pretty much have enough stuff to go get the rest of them in case we do need to do that, so it's not an entirely bad loss. Oh, come on. candy. That's not what I want to see. I want to see that Bombos medallion now. <laughs> yeah, EI definitely did stomp us in PPT, that's for sure. Me not having really played much of Poyo Poyo at all, and not really being a, a very good Tetris man myself, it's no big surprise that he kind of took the show there. But Tower Fall is fun. Tower Fall is fun. Um, we ended up not playing Quiplash, actually. By the time we got to it, at midnight or 11.45 or whatever, everybody was just too fucking drained to even do it. So we play, ended up playing some Goat Simulator instead. That's not going to be enough to hit it. Then we had played, we had actually inserted Nuclear Throne beforehand since, uh... New Super Mario Bros. wasn't working out for us either. Eh? Oh, wow, alright. Tried the new faster double Stalfos kill strats there. It actually worked. Ow!
so we had to make some very minor schedule adjustments as the night wore on for technical reasons and other energy related reasons. Key, please. Damn it, small key. <laughs> oh man. Rick me being good at Towerfall. Yeah, he's he certainly is. I played in a Towerfall tourney in Pax West 2016. He was there, but I don't know if he was in it in it. I don't remember now. I think he was. I think he was. That was a good time. I knocked out in the quarterfinals myself, but that's okay. It was a good time. Everybody had a blast. Another small key there. Gosh dang it. Items are elusive. Yep. funny part about that was, about that quarterfinal loss, was that the guy who ended up winning the entire thing um, was the dude I won against in the first round. Because <laughs> we had a sort of double elimination thing going on for the first couple segments. But it goes to show how kind of random-ish that game can be, even if you are a super ultra good badass. <laughs> you can still hit like a shabby run or something. Just because it can get so chaotic. But it was good. It was a good time. I would definitely join up another tournament for next packs that we're going to. If there is one, which I hope there is one. There's the big key. Oh my goodness. So have we gotten both the burrito and the... Oh, no. Haven't hit the burrito yet. So this is this might be the burrito here. I guess it doesn't really matter since we're making another cycle around, right? Oh, there's another small key. Hmm. So we're looking at, uh, how's this gonna work though? Ow. Am I missing a, did I not mark another item? Damn it. I feel like I didn't mark another item in this one because I think Cold Stare will have one. Ow, fuck. <laughs> ah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Still managed to hit the switch. Brilliant. Oof, just barely hitting that hair edge of that. <laughs> I don't really recall what that other item, where that it, other item would be. I guess big key, oh yeah, I guess big key, or big chest and this cold stair would be the only other one. Hmm, <laughs> thinking maybe I didn't mark one. Oh well, probably pretty unlikely that it'll be Bombos anyways. Or did I not? Uh, I might have missed another. Uh. Oh, oh ooh, fire bar, please. Oh, come on. That was a bonk. You shit. One pixel left. Alright. So this is the burrito. Oh, okay, so I think I did miss another item. Cold stair should have the last one then. Heard of that one. 
Uh, shit, I don't have enough magic for this. I need a full meter since I don't have half magic. Shit. Uh, okay, this could be real interesting if I don't get any more down here. Uh, fuck. I'd have to duck out to that supply closet. Huh. Uh, this could be real bad. Huh. Um, I don't think this is gonna work. Fuck, I think I'm screwed here. Because I won't have... Ah, yeah, I am gonna be screwed here. All right. I'll have to go through it one more time. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm really cocking this up now. Because I need full magic by the time I get to the cold stair drop, otherwise I'm not gonna have enough to break him out. Shit. Well, this made this much, a much longer ice palace than I wanted it to be. The other option is to try to do the bomb jump. So we can get the block down and not waste magic on the Kinus Mario block, but that's probably pretty unlikely. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't even need to fight those guys. Hmm. This could be real problematic. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, oh wow, I just barely again. <laughs> just barely nailed it. There we go. That should be enough, I think. Just in case we'll get a little bit more. So we'll need enough to get. God damn it, come on. For fuck. Mm. <laughs> this is taking a beating here on our way through. I think I need a full meter without half magic just to get through. Unless I'm thinking about something else. LCTV runner supposed to know about hookshot iframes? Supposed to? Uh, I don't know. I really didn't know about it until. Oh, I probably don't want to waste magic on that. Oh shit! You already take me again. I didn't really know about it until I started doing randos. So, yeah. Your guess is as good as mine on that point. All right, uh, let's actually go get full magic here. There we go. That should be enough. Alright, now we'll get full when we go down below here. There we go. Now we're good. I mean, there's certainly ways to do pretty much every room without taking damage, even without doing the whole hookshot iframe thing. It's just a lot faster to do it that way. As is probably self-evident. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, yep. Okay, good thing I did go back and do it then. Because otherwise I would have been straight fucked. I don't think I can use silvers on cold stair, right? Nope. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god, cold stair. Please. Oh, god damn it. Even 
with red mail. He still does two full hearts of damage. What a shit. Well, great. Now I'm completely out of magic. Shit. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do then. We're going to go get some blue potion. <laughs> we're going to go get some potions. Ugh. Oh, of course I would portal onto a gosh dang bush. Son of a bitch. Alright, first, let's fill up on magic. Then, buy ourselves a good old blip. And we'll go back down. Alright, now well, let's try Ice Palace for a third goddamn time. Ah! God, I hate Ice Palace so much. magic at this point. Ugh. We're getting practice at the double stealth host kill. Uh, is that gonna be close enough to him? Oof, jeez. Cutting it real close there. Ow, son of a. Stop! Oh my god, conveyor belt's the worst. Oh. Oh, my sweet good god. Get through this room. This doesn't have the makings of a three hour scene. But certainly not gonna be sub two. Might be 225, depending on how quickly we get this over with. without the magic refill. Ow, fucking really cold stare. Eat a dick. Ugh. All fucking spread out as hell. Might have to use that potion. Oh, why is Cold Stare so strong? 
There's one. There's two. There's... Oh, no, oh, shit. Okay. Ugh, oh, <laughs> damn it, cold stare. Ugh. Oh, Jeez. Oh, for the mirror shield. Mm, I guess that's okay. Crap. Well, there's Crystal 5, but... Mm, it doesn't... It doesn't feel good, man. We need Bombos. We need Bombos to get into Mire. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. This is right on top of Bush, isn't it? Oh, oh, just barely got out of it. Yeah, Jamestown should be right at the beginning of the second VOD. We had a weird... We had a weird crash or something right after Mario Kart. Which is why it split up into two. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check Dark Side Death Mountain here. Hope that Bombos is in here. And if it's not, and we can get into T-Rock, we're gonna do T-Rock right away. And hope that Bombos is in there. And if that's not, then we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of fucking fetch questy garbage on the overworld. Which is super silly. It's a really dumb route to do, but... Probabilities and whatnot. Bombos. Alright, hard container's okay too. Not the best, but we'll take it. Alright, let's check T Rock. Make sure it is something we can get into. If it's Bombos as well, that would be kind of shitty. Damn it! <laughs> it is! Oh no! Oops, uh, it's normal crystal and it's Bombos. Well, that kind of limits what we can do now. Doesn't it? Well, that's kind of silly and unfortunate. Maybe Bombos will be in here. No, Red Boomerang. Half Magic? Oh man, could have used that for Ice Palace. Bombos! Oh, brilliant. Okay. All right. No run around for us. Oh, we got super lucky that Bombos was in there. Now we're in go mode, although I would really like to find another sword. Alright, let's be the good routes about this and go do Meyer first. Jeez, that was kind of lucky there. Now we can cruise on through Meyer. I don't think I'll... Mm, I really want at least Tempered Sword, but I guess I won't go out of my way for it. Because then... We don't find an, another sword in Ganon's tower or something like that. We're gonna have to do uh, have to do spin strats on Ganon, which is not gonna be a good time. Oh well, can't always be winners. for here is the big ass key. Make this a super quick mire if it's this first one.
Don't compass. Damn it, that's the worst thing. <sighs> not a useful item, not the big key, and not even a small key. Gosh dang it. Oh, there's the big key. Never mind. <laughs> Back on track. Alright, so this will be a super quick, no full clear mire. We are skipping two items here, but unless uh, Vitreus has one of them. What the? Oh, come on, really? So if we get super lucky and Vitreus drops a sword or something, that would be really nice. But I feel like that's asking a lot of our luck. Gonna be a real quick Vitreous fight since we've got silvers. <laughs> boom, boom, three, four, five, six, whoops, six, seven, eight, nine. Get it before first lightning? Yeah, still got it. See you in hell, Vitreus. All right. That gets us a small key. Gosh dang it. There's crystal six. I guess we're going up to T-Rock to get crystal seven and then be on our way. So luckily we didn't need to go into Swamp Palace at all. Saves us a bit of time. We're not even gonna bother with the rest of the overworld crap. Squirrel, are you serious? Not only does he block my path, but he somehow magically hits me after I smack him in the face with a sword. So dumb. Trying to get work done while watching this. Good work. Good luck. Good luck, my friend. And I doubt the run will have any answers for you. But, hey, maybe we'll both get lucky. Maybe I'll find my sword and you'll find your answer. Alright, going into T Rock at buck 5340 something. Yeah. Not ideal. But that sets us up for maybe a 220, depending on how shitty Ganon's tower is to us. And if we find a sword upgrade. Small keys, good. Come on, man. First of all, I didn't even go that direction. Second, he was not doing the zappy zaps. 
Oh, well. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, wow. Early big key. And another small key. Holy shit. All right. That's cool. I think I need one more small key to make this a done deal. Ouch. Wow. Totally getting smacked up. Ooh, we're going to have to be careful around the chompy chomps now. I think two hits and we're done. Not saying cart, but it's something. All right, we'll definitely need at least one more small key. Maybe two. Oh, and that was actually a, an item that we need to record here. Boop. Need at least one more. If we should skip the rest of it, or if we should try to get a sword. Mm, I guess I guess we take the danger play here. Try to save our shell ourselves a little bit of time. <laughs> hey Kenny, how you doing? Yeah, I forgot to update Nightbot after we were done, so it's gonna be a little a little bit of fudgy until I fix it. Of course, I noticed after I started the run, so I didn't want to dick about and restart because I'm a big lazy butt like that. Alright, so we're skipping big chest. In the hopes that it's not the other small key that we need, but... Gucci now. Don't need any more keys. We can just go straight up to Trinex. Beat the shit out of him. I mean, well, we can try, I suppose. Since Vtorp uh, very kindly and awesomely suggested hammer strats on Trinex, that's what we're gonna try again. Because it worked fantastically well last time. as well as it did last time, we might be looking at a two-hour leaving Turtle Rock. Uh, yeah, let's do the ice one first. Or no, let's do the fire one first, excuse me. Doing the dumb. Also, we've got a blue potion, just in case things go a bit squiffy. Oh, is that gonna hit him? Nope. Of course it didn't. <laughs> Fucking Urf. Our next. No, oh, god damn it. On, stop with the shit. <laughs> stop it. There we go. Much faster than trying to master sword this shit up. I'm surprised the ice thing didn't kick off. 
Oh, God damn it. We got one. Oh, uh oh. Whoop. <laughs> Ow. Try next. still do three even though I've got red mail. This is, this is kind of a gamble, I think. Oh, jeez. Well, we're gonna use it now. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that garbage. Mm, come on. There we go. Gotta get all up in that business. Fuck you, Trinex. Ooh, but now we're going into G Tower without any backup. No fairies, no potions, no nothing. Oh, of course he would drop a burrito. Out of the four remaining items, he drops a fucking burrito. What a shit, Trinex. What a shit. All right, well, our last chance here then is G Tower for another sword. And considering, to what, 22 items? 21, I guess, not counting the big key. Or any number of small keys, probably closer to 14, 15. I mean, there's a solid chance for it, but depending on when we get the big key, we might not be looking too deeply for it. God, these fucking Lionels. Excuse me. Ah. Ow, fucker. All right. See how this shakes out. Not expecting great things here. All right, one through twenty-two. Take a guess. Where are we gonna find the big key? Just where are we gonna do it? I think last time when I did the festive seed, it was twenty-two. It sucked. All right, another empty bottle. Small key, that's fair. At 16, all right. 16 is, I believe, the second one after Armos. 18, ooh. Ooh, that's not good. All right, three's on the torch there, it's a big 20. Here's four, five, six, seven. Four is another bottle. Five is a piece of candy. Six is a small key, and seven, big 20. Gosh dang it. All right, it's not looking good. Oh, oh. Eight, another big 20. Shit, it's not really looking good, is it? Oop. Ow. Ow. Whoa, she's taking a lot of dumb hits here. Coming up on nine. Ow, fucking fire bar, really? Ah, we've got a nine. All right, it's in the front half. Which means we're doing spin strats on Ganon. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I don't like that. Unless Validation Chest has a fucking sword in it, which would be a-okay, actually. Hmm. 
Oh, careful. Whoa. Mm. Good. Ow, fucking demos. Come on. me. Ow. Can really? Alright, we're gonna grab a backup fairy here. Go with the two bottles I forgot to mark on the tracker. Alright. Can we one cycle the Lanmo fight here? Probably not, because we're gonna get a fucking fireball to the face. Yeah, eat a shit. Asshole. Not a clean two cycle, though. Matched my Lanmo 1 fight from earlier. Pretty good gauntlet so far. Alright. Just for grins. Ah, uh, just a piece of candy. Oh, but it does give us a very nice refill. Very well timed refill. And another heart to deal with. Time for Moldorm 2, though. Hopefully he's a little kinder than his tier 1 counterpart. Uh. Two spins. Uh. Nope, fucking... Ah, three spins. There we go. Easy peasy. Or, I'm sorry, Wormulon 2. Alright, what's in the validation chest? A sword, a sword, a sword, a sword. Dang it, it's the other single rupee. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, well. Looks like we're doing uh, spin strats Ganon. Hmm, I don't have any extra. Eh. I don't have any extra magic. This is unfortunate. Ah, I got one out of that. that was Pretty dumb setup. Oh, there's two on that one, so there's a total of three. Oh, oh, we only got one of those, you fucks. That's four, though. Five. Six. All right, not a bad jerk wizard the second. That was pretty good. About an eight and a half minute G tower because we got a super lucky big key on number nine, I think. Or was it number eight? There's number eight. Okay, so spin strats Ganon is not gonna be very fun, but we're gonna try it. We've got one backup fairy, not a whole butt ton of magic to deal with, but I guess we're gonna give it a go. 
Maybe pull a 215 out of this. Oh, I even missed him. Nice. Pretty kind positioning. Right up against the wall. Ow. Fucking. Oh, shit. Whoa. Alright. It's getting a little dicey here. Oh, come on, really? Maybe close enough to him for that? Oh, crap. Alright. Uh. Oh. <laughs> we do have one backup fairy, so it's not a big deal if we eat it here. Fuck. But now we gotta be careful since it's gonna be a little bit until phase three yet. Hmm. I'm not liking this too much. Oh, you bastard. Come on. Oh, come on. How did that hit me, you little shit? Oof. Oh, come on. How does that not hit him, you bastard? Alright. Alright, we should be getting close to phase three here. Oh, crap. How did I get hit by that, fucker? Oh. Oh, God, I've lost count. Oh, shit. Well, how did that hit me? Fuck you. Oh, yeah, we're gonna eat it right there. Gosh dang it. Ugh, oh, God, spin strats cannon is the worst. All right, will it at least put me there? Yeah, okay, let's get some backup shit. Get ourselves two backup fairies in full health. That should be enough, I hope. Crappy shit crap fuck. Oh good, yeah, right on the wall. Well, I guess that's actually pretty good since we'll just pop it back here. Alright, so no 215 for us. Might still be able to pull this 220. Do we have another bottle, actually? We might have... Yeah. Get rid of this. Get rid of this B and get one more just to be super safe. Oh, come on, really? Are you... F okay, I was about to say, if I can't get back in there... So silly. Alright, good. <laughs> Three fairies, full health. This should be fine. Oh, 
Nice. All right. Ow. Fucker. There you go. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. How did that not hit him? Bastard. How did that not hit him? You... Oh, come on. He's right up there. There we go. Goo hoo. Oh, all right, we got it. Up to phase three now. Oh, come on, man. That was dumb. Shit. There we go. It's one. Two. Three. And four. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Did find the arrows, thankfully. Nice. Okay. Dang it. Alright, maybe we can get one more on him. No, oh, god damn it. Of course. It's like two pixels away from him. Alright, well, there's one fairy. We'll need to relight that torch soon. Like, probably now. There we go. Okay. Shit ass. Come on. Nice. Good double. Oh. Alright. Need to do it one more time. Nice. Okay. Come get some asshole. Alright. One more should do it. Eat shit. Okay. Well, spin strats Ganon. Not the best. <laughs> Not the best time in the world. It looks like we're pulling a 217 and change. What? Alright. 217.10. Okay. Not our worst, but not our best. Pretty good baseline for open mode. Well, a good enough baseline for open mode, I should say. But I'm way too tired to do a second seed tonight, <laughs> so we're just going to watch the stats and then call it. Oh. I think from here on out, we'll probably be doing open mode seeds since it's a little bit more interesting from the start rather than the same six minutes over and over and over again. So we had at least... at least two deaths. One in Ice Palace to Cold Stare and one to Ganon. I don't know if I had any others. Bonk count was... Eh. Got boots around midway through the run, I would say. So maybe 30-ish. Routing was okay, I think, overall. Since we left a lot more overworld spots than we normally do. But we still made it through. Didn't have to go into Swamp at all. Mire and T-Rock were both go mode. So not terrible, all things considered. Zora only had arrows. What a shit. 500 roops for 10 arrows. 50, 50 roops a pop. Bullshit. Fortunately, we did need to do Ega 1 to get into Dark World. To get the hammer on Pyramid. Which is nice. I mean, I guess it's nice to get hammered pretty quickly into Dark World, but still, I would have preferred not to do Ega 1 to get it. Eh. Oh well.
looks like after that first kind of really big gap between Crystal 1 and 2, we knocked them out pretty consistently thereafter. 17, 6... 21, 17... No, I'm sorry, 7. 9, 9. Yeah, after that first kind of go at getting our items built up, we got pretty lucky in getting most progression items pretty soon. Except for that Ega 1 play right at the beginning. Check MSP just to be sure. Just to be sure that bomb boss wasn't on it. Because that would have been real shitty if it was. First real open mode seed and MSP required would have been a pretty big turn off. slightly faster. Can I just turn on frame skip or something? So how do we do on the tracking aspect here? Pretty decent, pretty decent. Full shields and males. Not too healthy of a seed, though. I think I only had 14 at the end. Only one pendant. Nothing in Swamp Palace, thankfully. Iron T-Rock, both go mode. Ganon's Tower was pretty nice to us. 36 bonks, all right, that's about what I expected. I'm gonna guess two deaths as well. Nice, okay. All right, not super terrible. Certainly better than I would have feared, worse than I would have hoped, but that's how it goes usually. All right, that's it for tonight. We're not gonna do second seat, I'm way too tired. <laughs> Still recovering from the marathon. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CST. We'll be back to Assault the Android Cactus speedrun practice, and then back to Flinthook on Monday. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.